Irish actor Liam Neeson, while promoting his latest movie, Cold Pursuit, found himself in hot water for comments he made regarding a traumatic event he experienced. In an interview with The Independent, Liam recalled a time in his past he reacted with anger after finding out a loved one was raped. After discovering the rapist was black, Liam said he carried around a nightstick for a week, hoping a, quote, black bastard would try and fight him so he could kill them. Liam says that looking back, he feels shame and regret about how he handled the incident. However, that didn't stop people from expressing their disgust over his revelation. Many on social media called him a flat-out racist and want him permanently banned from the Oscars, while others saw a bigger issue at hand, like activist George M. Johnson, who tweeted, Love Liam him. Neeson is definitely a reminder that there are folks who walk around hoping to provoke black people so they can kill us. A lot of them are in law enforcement and politics. I, I was taken aback reading this article um, for multiple reasons, and I actually thought very similar to what George said, that... How sad that because of something one person did, now you are on a rampage to destroy all of the people from that race. What a, like, how scary is that? Yeah. Like, every single race, somebody's done something wrong in every single race. We all have bad seeds in every race. You get what I'm saying? And we have some incredible people in those races as well. Yep. You have to acknowledge both sides. But that's literally like me watching something like Black Klansman. Or, or any of those movies, Selma, where you get riled up and you see something and you're like, how could they do this? And then walking around and saying, now I hate all white people. Right. How ignorant and terrible would that be? And when we've got to put a stop to this, but I am grateful that things like this keep on coming out. Yeah. And we keep shedding light on this, on ignorance, and we keep seeing people for who they really are, and for that, I'm grateful. I totally agree with you, and to dis dissect it a little further, right? When you read the transcript of when Mr. Neeson asked his friend who had gotten raped um, what happened. The first question he asked about the attacker was, what color were they? So weird. Okay, so when you think about a description of somebody, if that's the first thing your mind goes to, I think that's a red flag to wonder why that's important in, that, in, in the series of questions you're gonna ask. I understand we have to describe somebody, but that's the first thing he went to. And then fast forward to today, he was on Good Morning America today, and his first, one of his first statements is he said, I am not a racist. Okay, so when you go to the dictionary definition of what a racist is, it's exactly what AIDS just said, is you generalize an entire race, think you're more superior than them based on whatever it is you believe about that race. So you generalize yeah. these millions of people based on one man's actions, and then you turn that into action. For a week, you're walking around with the club looking for this person. Terrible. So that said, it's been 40 years since he did that. I want to know what you did in that 40 years that made you make that proud statement today that you're not a racist because I don't see how 40 years could erase that. And when you also said that what you've done since is you've confessed to a priest, which is great. Confession is power. That's definitely the first step. Then you said you took a power walk. You don't power walk off racism. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>